you all can see me now. All right, so now we are going to cut our stuff out. Um, bring back up my Riley. And so it's projected onto here. Um, I will show you what it looks like in just a second. I just can't lay the fabric down and also hold the camera. Um, so I'm going to do the Riley that has uh, the big color blocking. So big color blocking, then a little square, and then the big uh, tunic. Um, not dress. We're doing a tunic, and then I'm going to make her leggings too. Um, so let's see. So I seem to bring it up. Where I get all the pieces that I need. There we go. And so, so basically, none of these are on the fold, which makes it easier. And I'll show you, um, like, the different view. So, say you had a panel and you really wanted to see what um, placement you needed, you can see this. Um, not as well as when it's white, but you can, hopefully y'all can, oh, you can't see, well, yeah, you can kind of. Oh, so that's not put myself there. Um, you can see like where the lines are here. Um, but obviously on the other side, this camera's not the best, so you can't see the best. But um, if you want to know placement, you definitely could cut it this way. I could definitely can see enough to cut this. But my preferred way, unless I'm cutting a panel, is to cut. Um, like this. See, see how you can see it really good actually. Um, you can see it really good. So you can see where all the lines are and stuff like that. So, you see how this is like this? You can do two things. Um, Sylvia talked about using the thing and then drawing on it. Um, but you I absolutely can do on those ones. Uh, but I actually found after trying a couple times um, that's way easier to have a marker like this and basically it's a washable disappearing one um, I lost the cap to that one oh, but it's still good um, it's mark be gone and disappearing ink so what I do is on the ones I want to grade I will draw directly on this fabric my grading marks um, the shortening and lengthening is a little harder uh, I did do it on one of mine but it is significantly harder but grading wise, this pen, amazing. Because honestly, you can just draw right on it. Um, so let me do that right now. And then uh, I don't need to do it so much for the top of this, except for to grade it a little bit out towards the waist. Um, I think she'd be okay with the 7 8, but I want her to be able. Oops, I put the camera upside down. Um, I want her to be able to wear it for a little bit longer. So basically, I would just draw and trace all of this where I want it. And you could just do this. Oh man, let's move that a little bit more over. I gotta utilize all of this. And even then, I can still kind of see uh, the the print on the other side uh, to do better. So basically I just want to take it out just a little bit uh, over here and then I'm just going to grade that up. There we go. And it doesn't even have to be a lot of lines, um, it just, just this helps me to remember which way I'm going. This is on my front, I probably will not do the back color blocked. Um, so hopefully you can see where I drew. See where I drew on it? Um, and it goes from the little green guy to the purple. Uh, so I graded it out. Yeah? And you can do that for adult or kids patterns. Um, but I found that the easiest. I also found that the easiest way um, if it's an AO file and it does not have the layers that... It's easier just to draw on my fabric versus to 
um, try to do it in the Adobe. I know you mentioned it, that you wanted to see it, Sylvia, but I honestly did find it way easier to just use my marker. And then you're just going to cut it out. Following those lines. Um, bigger pieces I will use uh, uh, weights, but since this is a kind of smaller piece, I didn't really need to do it. So, uh, my daughter, my little boo boo, has this little, we call it her Buddha belly, because that's what it is. Uh, so that's why I needed to grade it out just a little bit for her waist because that's where she holds all of her weight is in her little belly. I need to change out my blade soon. I'll press a little harder. Either one. So now you can see a battered PC. It's perfect, right? It's great. I love it so much. It's amazing. Look, look at little baby Yoda for her. Or sorry, this is Froggy. His name is Froggy. Call him that. Um, but you basically can do that for all your pieces, just like that. So that was a pretty quick video. Um, but it, it works all the same, no matter where you are. Um, so, because my husband just started vacuuming, we're going to go ahead and stop it there.